So this is my magnificent picture of a trench. As you can see, the size-wise, I've put a little guy in there. Just some things to name. So at the top, this thing was called the Parados. That's where the sandbags were at the back. Enemy in No Man's Land is obviously to the left of the picture. The barbed wire was used to make sure it was hard for people from the other side to get into your trench, and many, many men died on the barbed wire. Uh, it was it was a cause of many deaths, and it was a terrible way to die. You'd get caught, either shot or left there kind of hanging. On the left here we see the box there's the ammo shelf and the fire stop. So at dawn and dusk every soldier that was in the front line of trenches would step up onto the fire stop and they would look out with their rifle fully loaded waiting to, to fire because dawn and dusk were the most common times and the best times to launch an attack so when you're at your least ready. So obviously the ammo shelf was within reach. Some of the things that um, the soldiers used to try and make themselves more comfortable. They dug what's called a funk hole at the bottom right there. That's where they would sleep. So it was a bit more sheltered and obviously people walking past wouldn't get in your way. So that was, was quite a small area to dig out and to sleep in and that's where most of them slept. You've also got the duckboard. That's what that guy's standing on, on tippy toes on one foot and the sump. So that's uh, try and, uh, a way of trying to get rid of excess water. You really wanted to make sure in the trenches that your your feet were as dry as possible. Otherwise you'll get things like trench foot, which is a terrible disease where your feet would swell up and kind of go numb and people had to be amputated because they had trench foot. So there's the elements of a trench. Hopefully this helps.